Well, good afternoon my YouTube friends. It's Margaret here and uh, I'm in the bathroom and this is a normal day for me. Um, watering the orchids now. These in this tray here are the uh, Plurithalis and the Masdevallias. So they get uh, watered from below. Apologies for the um, the light in here. It's only an ordinary light bulb. And there you see. These are the ones so far. I do them in uh, in rotation, and uh, and then they'll go back into the grow room after I've had some lunch. So let's take you into the grow room now. Like I say, this is a normal day for me. If I'm not in the garden, um, I was in the garden the majority of yesterday. Um, the frags had three. Um, two flushes and a feed yesterday so they're very happy let me just turn this uh, oscillating fan there we go uh, sorry about that so they're they're very happy very healthy and uh, the um, just take you around here sorry about this let me turn this uh, I'm not organized um, and I'll sit down right so the um, the humidifier is on and the only reason that's on is because it's because I'm in and out uh, it has reduced the humidity down to 64 and usually I'm in the 70s and then by the time the evening come around I'm into the 80s so it's about 81 or 82 percent and uh, the, big, the window gets left open at night time and uh, these are the others um, in feed there we go you see and there are the others out there on there they've already had their um, waterings and those of course are the soft-leaved phalaenopsis I mean it might look like uh, complete chaos here um, but it isn't if you like it's it's um, organized chaos I say look at that one look at that new growth the size of that, that's on that um, King Yainum, uh, Dendrobium King um, that, um, I think that's the one that Cathy let me have. Look at this, it's even got a flower spike there. And Mythicithlorum Forum, look at that, that's that new growth, all the way, all the way. Anyway, you remember this, 2nd of June, Psychopsis Mariposa. And um, this is one of those that um, I could choose. And this one had, um, I wanted lovely mottled foliage. And this one uh, had got a bent um, bloom. Well, it's, an, um, you know, this. And, um, and I said, well, but it had got the best mottling. So I'd asked, um, Lawrence of Lawrence Hobbs uh, to cut that, which she did, and um, I've just topped up the water this morning. That's that's all it gets. Um, the um, dome there just fits into the dome of this um, clear pot. So let's have a look at the the roots, how they're doing, and uh, excuse about the reflection. Let's have a look. I don't think the roots are doing too bad at all. I'm just waiting now um, to see if um, I get any growing tips. Whoops, get any growing tips on them. But look, they seem very healthy, don't they? So, like I say, I topped that up this morning, and let me just show you. I was thrilled to bits. Bearing in mind it's only the 2nd of June and behind this label here and I don't want to but look there that area there let's show you I don't want to uh, there. 
Now what's that? Is that a new growth? I think that might be a new growth, you know, because what's... I mean, you've got the... what looks to be the formation of a uh, pseudobulb. But what's that thing coming out at the side of it? That's what makes me think um, it's maybe a new growth. Because at first I thought, oh, I wonder if it's a... Um, I wonder if it's a new um, spike. But now, if I lift that down now, just move that little bit of a husk. There, you see. Don't think it'll let me go in any closer. Uh. Anyway, so that's all happened since the uh, second of June. So, uh, if nothing else, if it's a new growth, um, I'm going to be thrilled to bits with that. That shows then that this particular orchid is settling into its environment and uh, if I can keep well, I mean, there's, I've had, there's no, been no central eating on now for a fortnight, simply because it's too darn hot. And also I've got quite high uh, humidity. So, and this, this is absolutely just, you know, these are the ideal conditions. So, um, and it fits over here on this shelf. I'll show you where it sits now. i just put that little saucer there. So this where it sits, just under here. Gets the sunlight. There we go. Oh, just let me, uh, sorry about the light then. Just hold on. So I've just nipped out into the garden. Look at the foxgloves here. But this is what I wanted to show you. We've got a spike on this, uh, I don't know if they call it a flax or what you call that. But look, that's got a spike on it there. And if I take you around here, hold on. I wanted to show you the spikes on the yucca. And we've got one. Let's bring you in a bit closer. There we go. Look at the height of that one. There. We've got five spikes on that yucca. And this one we're looking at now, this is very unusual. It's a shrub, but it, it sends out these lovely, um, beautiful flowers. It's very, very unusual. And we bought it for that reason. And of course the roses are out. And the, uh, the broom is out. And the wajelia here at the front is out. And if I turn around here, these are the big crinum lilies. And, uh, excuse the background noise, that's the disposal men. And the lavatera. Look at the lavatera. That's also out. And of course, because it's lunchtime, we're, we're full of traffic. And uh, this is the other rose. Coming in board and it's also out. So if I walk you around this way and through the gates, this is the auriculus. There we go. And these are on this stand here. All the different colours. There's a double one down there, and these are the pansies that I've done from seed. And there's another one, and there's the red one. So if I walk along here now, and I've got a lot more plants to put in here yet, but some of them are starting to, uh, to 
to bloom nicely and they've settled in. And I think we're given on Friday um, 27 degrees F. Now that's, some might say, well that's just like normal. But no, that, that's uh, not normal for us, that's very warm. And I think Keith might be around the corner thinking where I am because uh, it's lunch time now. He's moved the little birds here. So uh, we had to water the, uh, the garden yesterday. I'm not going to give you a full garden at all. Just some of the roses. There's a scented one. Absolutely gorgeous. And we've even got a, a lily flower coming in the pond here. So I'm going to take my leave of you and uh, we'll have lunch in the garden and we'll come back soon. Bye bye now.